Okay, so if you're watching this video or the live stream, I stream this because I'm really awkward recording solo content. And this is a video detailing what's going to happen when Fat Fiend dies. And you can see here, um, um, here's a tweet from me, a thread, if you will, um, detailing that because I am really bad at recording content and I don't have a person to bounce off of. Um, so what um, I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this and it's just to explain like what's going to happen when Fact Fiend dies. And the first thing I, I need to address is like Fact Fiend's fine. The channel's doing great. Um, it's earning plenty of money. Everybody is secure in their jobs. Um, like we are doing better than we've ever done. I've got the, I want to say I checked the analytics a couple of weeks ago, just at the start of the new year. And every single number that is important has gone up from the same time last year. However, I am keenly aware YouTube is a finite opportunity for myself and the people who work on the channel to make money. So uh, it just pays to be like pragmatic in regards to just knowing when it's going to end and having a plan for when it does so. And the annoying thing about YouTube though is you don't really get any warning when a channel's dying or when a channel's going to stop making money or when you are unable to just continue as you are. Um, however, uh, we do have the ability to check or guess when roughly that's going to happen. Like um, you don't get a warning straight away, but you can like plan for it if you keep an eye on um, uh, analytics and details and things like that. So that'll lead me straight into this. Like, uh, oh God, uh, I'm really bad at this. I'm really bad at this. There we go, yeah. So it's possible to tell at which point the channel stops growing. Yeah, that's what we need to keep an eye out for. And that's not happened yet. And um, the channel's still growing. Um, we're getting a couple hundred subs every single day. Um, numbers are still going up in regards to um, watch time, view time, um, subscribe account, um, ads to playlists, monetary earnings, all that good stuff. Um, however, uh, when it gets to a time when I can see that channel growth has plateaued, um, not dropped, but plateaued, um, because plateauing generally comes just before um, growth starts to drop off because once you've plateaued you're not getting recommended to new viewers and your audience starts to stagnate and when things stagnate that's when shit uh, is going to start hitting the fan so at that point I'm going to inform all my editors first that we have six months of just regular production and then I'm going to close up shop and around that time we'll record a video um, not unlike this one um, where I announce the same thing to you our audience that in six months time um, from whatever the date is that video goes out, because we tend to have a backlog. Um, Fact Fiend will be no more. We'll be uploading no more content. And Oh God, there we go. And around that time, um, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Fact Fiend Patreon, which has been lying dormant for, I want to say, two and a half years now. So it's been two and a half years since it grew dormant, because um, we start to earn enough money from the channel not to need it. And I'm going to reopen that back up and announce in this video, uh, much in the same way I'm doing now, that if you are a fan of the channel, you want to support everyone involved with the channel and their future endeavors, um, you can donate to that. And I'll leave it open for that six months. And every month, I'll divvy up the money four ways. And that money will go to me, Brad, Nisha, Lucas, equally, um, as seed money for our future projects, or like to add to savings, or just you know to supplement the income we're going to make from the channel. Uh, da, 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 da. Next one. Yep, 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 yep. Um, what I'll also be doing is around that time, I'll be setting aside a day each week on the channel if the editors want it to showcase their content outside of Fact Fiend um, because I've encouraged everyone working on the channel, make your own content. Uh, do your own stuff, talk about it as much as you can in videos and elsewhere. You can use the channel to promote it as much as you like. But during that six month period, I'll set aside a day each week and I'll just be like, if you have a video made or you want to do something to advertise your stuff, you've got um, access to the entire Fact Fiend audience to do that with there. Um, basically just to give them um, the most opportunity possible to grow their audience and following outside of a channel so that in that six months when it's done, um, they have the ability to earn money on their own. Well, so yeah, I will be getting to the chat in a bit, so if you have questions about this, I'll go through that at the end. If there's anything I don't cover or there's anything that's not clear, because um, I figured that if I just recorded this video and then uploaded it, there might be questions. So hopefully chat um, right now, I'll be able to do that. We can show them off now. Here they are. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, they're right there. Oh, God, chat's not showing up. Oh, well. I fucked this up, Anna. We'll, we'll sort that out in a minute, right? Anyway. <laughs> I fucking hell, I need some coffee. Oh, so when we get to the end of that six month period, 
Um, and the, you know the channel has been shuttered. We've got no real clue what we're going to do in regards to like final videos yet. But I'll be taking any money left in the Fact Fiend coffers, um, which is fairly substantial, um, like because you know our overheads are quite low. I'll take that and I'll give everybody, um, you know, a fair shake of what they've earned. So just split it four ways again. Give everybody just a fair chunk of what's left in the Fact Fiend coffers again as seed money or money to just take time off or just to supplement their earnings. Um, as it stands um, right now, there's enough in there to pay everybody another six months. So um, after that six months is up, there's enough, hopefully there'll be enough money to pay everyone to, you know, the equivalent of six months wages, um, which combined with the six months of um, warning they've been given, gives them like a year to um, uh, pursue other projects and get their own shit sorted out and all the ducks in a row, as it were. Da -da 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 -da. And then we go, and then the channel itself, once it's shuttered, I'll leave everything up as an archive. So if you like want to watch Fact Fiend videos, you can. You'll have that option. They'll all be there. Uh, none of them are getting deleted. And because I own everything in regards to the channel outright, um, my best guess is that it will continue to earn money for about three to four years, um, which will go to me uh, because I own everything, which is why I don't want to just see the channel stagnate and then die because that would leave me in the awkward position of not being able to pay my editors or perhaps making less content or having to make cuts um, in regards to personnel or the content we produce. I would rather end on a high, give everybody a, you know, a nice payday, a good um, fair chunk of change that I think um, is just you know, a, a, a good way to thank everyone for it. And then I, as the owner of the channel, the person who came up with all the ideas, the person who ran everything and um, got it off the ground in the first place, I'll just continue to earn money from that um like, you know for a couple of years i pursue my own projects and just as and when i feel um inclined maybe record new stuff podcasts vlogs just bring people to the channel and record um like fact fiend style content for shits and giggles but regular production will see so that everybody can pursue their own projects and then we've got the next one. Oh yeah well we've been, i want to talk about yet yeah. um there is no plan um, to try and save the channel or to make new content or just try and go in a different direction because every time I've ever seen that shit, it just smacks of desperation and I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to worry or struggle um, when it comes to the channel because, yeah, that's, that doesn't sound fun. It doesn't sound fun to be stressed with something that's supposed to be fun and um, with my friends. But... Um, yeah, that's the, the long and short of it. Of just I want to go out on a high and make sure that everyone involved with the channel walks away with enough money and enough of a following and enough of you know, an established presence online and to do what they want to do um, uh, for as long as they're able to. But yeah, YouTube is not really too uh, <laughs> um, consistent in regards to the money you can earn. And we've always known, everyone involved with the channel, that there's only a couple of years left in it. And we're actually surprised it's been going as long as it has. Um, but we're very happy that it is. And chances are it'll keep going for at least another couple of years. But it's always happy. Or it's always good um, just to plan for these sort of things. So I'm going to switch over now to IRL. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. So I'll switch over to here and I can see the chat. So I've gone through that now. And is there any questions from chat about anything discussed? I guess anything that I, I didn't mention, I didn't make clear. And I'm aware that chat will have music right now. That's not going to be in the final video. I'm going to put John, like two finger Johnny in the background. So let's have a quick look through this. Now people are saying hello, 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 hello. Take us down memory lane. Uh, I ain't got time for that, mate. Uh, this is particularly about the end of the channel. Uh, would you still stream? Yeah, that's why I'm streaming more. It's why I'm streaming this. In fact, I'm trying to myself build up an audience and following outside of the channel so that I can stream as and when I feel like it and earn money doing that. Um, there's no plan to stop creating content. It's just that when the channel um, ceases to be an entity that makes enough money to pay everyone, or when it looks like that's the case, I want to like shutter it before I get to a point where I want to make a difficult decision and just give everybody involved with the channel, myself included, the best possible um, uh, grounding uh, for continuing to create content online. What is your plan for projects after YouTube? I've not thought about it yet. I've been working too hard. There's a bunch of stuff I wanted to do. Um, but my first plan is to take time off if I'm able to do that still. Uh, there's new facts coming through every day. Why not just do a few here and there? Um, it's not about finding content. It's about the audience disappearing. Um, there is no issue with content. There's hundreds and hundreds of articles left in the archives. And I've got um, 
hundreds more ideas locked and ready to go. It's just if the channel is not earning enough money to pay everybody a fair wage, or it looks like that's going to be the case, and there's no um, real way to keep making them, as fun as it is to keep making videos. So content's not the problem, it's just will people still give a shit in a couple of years? And like, we've no idea when that's going to be, but it's the smart move to plan for it, because there's no precedent for YouTube lasting longer than five, six years. Unless you're like, you know, the exception that proves the rule. Is this sun setting or a contingency? I said right at the start of the video, this is a contingency. And I've, I think I've reiterated that a couple of times already. It's like, this is not what's happening. The channel's not dying, the channel's doing very well. We're making more money than we've ever made. We've got more views than we've ever had. It's just this, I want to start making content on my own channel. And I thought, well, one of the ways to do that, or to start doing it, is talk about what's going to happen when the fact fiend ends. Um, I'm thinking you said once that when regular content ends, you will record the regular... Yep, yeah, I literally said that in the video. Um, but I'm guessing you must have missed that because you're in chat. Um, great job with the channel. Eh, we'll see. There's time yet. There's time to fuck it up yet. Dun, 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 dun. Um, anything else? Um, I'm happy you have a plan. Any more for any more? I know this is like a bit weird. I only announced it like five minutes before I started doing it, but I'm really, really bad at making solo content. And I didn't want to have to deal with the thing of um, people asking me questions after I've uploaded the video. Um, if people stop watching you now and stop making money, what do you think you'd do? Stop making content. It's, it's really simple. If we're not making money, I, I can't you know, live. My friends can't live. If the channel stops being an avenue to do that, I have to go do something else. What happens if the algorithm push your video and you gain 2 million subs? Would you consider? No, the contingency doesn't change. Like if this happens in 6 months or it happens in 10 years, it's just good to have that plan. I wanted a record of it and I wanted this for posterity. Because I pride myself on having transparency in regards to how the channel runs. And if it gets to the point where the channel gets a million subs and we're making 10 times what we are now, I'll still give everyone their fair wage for you know their contribution to that success. Uh, will you open beers on TikTok full time? No, I've got a TikTok though. I'm looking for a way to monetize it. Um, I believe you need over 10,000 followers to start monetizing your TikTok. So follow me on there, I suppose. Bam, bam, bam. People say you're bad at business. I am bad at business because it's not often the case that a lot of YouTubers actively plan for their own downfall and include the people who help them a success in that. Uh huh. You ever thought about doing a live stream version of Fat Fiend video? Um, this is not questions about the channel, this is about the end of the channel. Like, also, um, no. The whole point of Fat Fiend videos is that they are made, um, or they're framed as a conversation between friends. That's going to be awkward with chat. Also with the delay, um, the spontaneity and improv nature of them is going to be um, limited at best. So, no, none of that. Uh-huh, 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 so, yep, what if the algorithm makes us more money? Oh, I see. Um, how great of a boss you are? Well, you have to be. The alternative would be um, to not plan, and then just have the channel stagnate or start losing money or followers or hemorrhaging views, and then have to make a difficult decision, such as like paying people less or asking someone to edit less, which is the same as asking them to pay less. Uh, what's the topic? This is just um, a discussion of what's happening at the end when the channel dies. And it's just questions about what I just discussed and just making sure there's, I've like, fully discussed and cleared everything. If YouTube is a platform completely stop tomorrow, what do you do for yourself and the team? There's enough money in the fact being coffers to pay everyone for six months. So everyone would get paid as normal for six months and we still make content. And then again, just we part ways at the end of it. What would happen if the contingency is finished and the algorithm suddenly starts picking up the channel again? And then I get a nice payday. But hopefully, if all goes well, everybody involved with the channel will already have their own projects sorted then. So the idea of bringing people back to stop making the content that they want to make and have found success in, in their own right, um, doesn't seem fair to me. Mm -hmm. uh, would you continue something else with the same staff? We'd make videos as and when we felt like it, but the plan would be they have their own stuff that they can continue doing. Is this the channel? It's theoretical. It's just, it pays to be prepared. 
Um, just preparing to fail is failing to prepare. Um, this is not just Q&A about the actual channel. Um, I'll be here all day otherwise. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is there a contingency if you reduce the channel reliance on your personality? Um, no, I write all the articles and got the channel started in the first place. Um, so no. I, there might be a, like, a plan to stop making content if I get sick of it, because that's one of the other plans. If It's not if the channel stops getting views, it's just if I get sick of making content, which I'm not yet. It's still fun. Uh, would Mass Duncan continue? It would, yes. We'd still keep making um, Smash Bros videos and stuff like that and streams. I'll be streaming Smash Bros in like half an hour with Lucas. Would you do anything else with the Big Wangers brand? No, it would exist just as a company to collect the money that the YouTube channel um, would continue to make after we'd like, you know, sunset and archived all the content. And I'd just use that to live on. Um, and just like, you know, use it to supplement streaming income and go back to writing behind the scenes because I do enjoy it. But it just exists as a corporate entity that just earns the money from YouTube. You still planning over another pub? Um, do you read the news? There's a pandemic. I don't feel like that's going to be a good idea. Right, a lot of people's plans were kind of, I you know, kicked in the arse by uh, COVID. Would there be like a yearly stream? I don't know. Um, as mentioned, the plan would be for everybody to do their own thing, and I wouldn't want people to feel obligated to come back and do fact fiend stuff after they set out and make content on their own. Uh, would podcasts continue? Probably not now, because they're related to the channel. If Lucas wanted to do them, and they started being profitable, yes, but if the channel um, was ended, which is going to happen when we stop making as much money as we do, and at the moment the podcasts don't earn money, they exist as an excuse for me to pay Lucas to edit them, um, so that he can continue to work from home full time. So no, um, unless they suddenly start earning money and it's something we could see just doing for a couple hours a week to earn like, you know, just a little bit of extra money for ourselves. It's like a side hustle or something. But um, at the moment, the podcast exists just as an excuse for Lucas to charge me for editing them because I'm really bad at business. Okay, any more for any more? To wait for delay. It's a thing. That like, delay is a thing. It's like, uh, which makes these super makes streaming really awkward. <laughs> like more awkward than it needs to be. Like maybe one day we'll have that, you know, that perfect frictionless streaming technology, but not today. Okay, no, seems to be going well. Perfect. So yeah, that's 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 the plan. Uh, if I missed anything, don't bother asking in the comments section because I don't read it.